you know, we were just, we were just kind of talking about the striper thing. This guy right here, how many of you, may, uh, let me make sure I'm not wasting my time up here. How many of you folks, this for striped bass? Yes, we are going to talk about this then. That's awesome. If you are a striped bass fisherman, fisherwoman, this is your guy right here. This is what you absolutely have got to have. And if you want to know more about this, where are we going to go? We're going to grab one of Bobby's cards. We're going to go to fishdelta.com because I just put an article, an in-depth article about how to fish this for stripers and black bass on the Delta or on whatever lake you choose, this bait right here. This is a Blade Runner head, weedless, and it's got a double A plastic tail on it. You can do double A. There's so many plastic baits that are out there that will work. Just start with pearl. That's the key. We're going to start with pearl, but the key, well, the biggest key, is the head that you're going to use. This is a Blade Runner head. Rick Teets, one of the, Rick Teets, if there was a fishing, Northern California Fishing Hall of Fame, Rick Teets should already be in there. Rick Teets is a magician. When it comes to lure design, what he needs to make in his shop and then bring to the deck of your boat for all of you to use, Rick Teets already done the R&D. He's already figured it out. And this right here, look, dude, this, this head, the last couple of years, I was having a little bit of trouble getting it to run perfect. I'd put a swim bait on there, I'd put a double A on there, I'd put a you know, a fish trap on it, whatever, some of the other baits that are out there. I'd throw it, and, oh, I'd even take a Bass Tricks, put a Bass Tricks on there, Bass Tricks, probably the greatest swim bait, hollow body kind of swim bait that there is, period. I'd put it on there, i throw it, and the swim bait comes back sideways. What's going on? So I talked to Rick and kind of, Talked to Rick about a few things that I thought he might need to tune up. And he goes, you know what? I think you're right. This is what we need to do. He fixed that thing and they're all perfect now. It's awesome. You put that swim bait on there, put you some 15 pound test line. 15 pound test line. We're gonna take a 3 8 Blade Runner head. We're gonna take a half ounce Blade Runner head. I really wanna catch him on a 3 8 I used to throw nothing but half ounce. And then my buddy Chad Martin. Chad Martin, any of you guys aware of Chad Martin, who Chad Martin is? There's a lot of, you know, a lot of these guys aren't into this. Hey, Chad Martin's not into that stuff. But I'll tell you what, Chad Martin, top five fisherman in California, he gets my vote. He's one of those guys. I have learned so much about my game and how to go about catching bass, listening to Chad Martin and how just trying to get in his head. He's the one that really woke me up to this Teets head. Chad said, oh yeah, 3 8 head, pitch it out there, let it go down a little bit. And same thing, we're just gonna slow wind that joker back like that. If you are fishing for striped bass, we've got a, hey, that's right. We've got another on fishdelta.com. There is an 11 minute video where we catch them pretty good with this thing right here. You'll be able to watch that video, see how, when you want, and I want you to remember this, when you're watching this video, it's a double A plastic video on fishdelta.com. When I am catching them and pummeling my partner that's in the boat with this bait, what I want you to focus on, instead of looking at the splash where the fish comes up, I want you to watch right here. Watch right here, watch the hands, okay? Because the key to catching, if you get wet, when I'm guiding and we're doing this right here, and I tell my clients, I go, okay, we're striper fishing, we're throwing the Blade Runner head, 3 8 half ounce. When you guys get bit, it's gonna feel like you just got bit by a bluegill. It's just gonna be a tick, it's a tick, tap, This guy eats it the same way this guy does. You don't know. You throw it over there, you go, tick. There he, oh, big one. High teen fish. You throw right back over there about nine yards further, tick. 
line, and this fish is skiing across the surface. It's 19 inch fish. They both ate it the same way. But the reason you caught both of them is because you did this right here. You took your bait, you pushed it out there, you're winding it, you're winding about that tip, oh. You wind about that tempo right there, and it goes tick, or it did just like, you guys don't understand what kind of discipline it takes for me not to swing on that fish when he does something goofy. You guys have no idea. I'm trying to talk to you guys. I'm trying to maintain a thought, and I got a four-pounder just eat this. My, mm, man, I want to turn that fish inside out. It's called discipline. Whew. All right. But what we're going to do... When we pitch that joker out there, we're going to wind it back nice and slow like that. When it goes tick, we're just going to wind as fast as we can. We're not going to set the hook. We're not going to go Barry Bonds. We're not going to do all that kind of stuff. We're not going to do TV hook set and all that crud. <clears throat> when we throw that thing out there and it goes tick, then you get your bluegill bite. Tick. Wind, wind, wind. Your rod's going to load. It's going to load. When your rod tip loads, after you feel a little bluegill bite, you can swing all you want. Just do not swing until that happens. Because if you've hired me as a guide and you do that like the first time, it's okay, he's learning. Second time, oh, I just missed another one. All right. I didn't hear you real go, oh man, I just, I'm learning, oh, okay, all right. Throw it over there, all right, wind it back, nice and slow. I'm watching this guy's line. It's looped like this, he's winding, and that line goes, thunk, like that. And he's like, oh, she just didn't get it good enough. All right, dude, I'll tell you what, let's do this. When you feel a tick, I need you to swing. And this is when I really mess with them. When it's go time, and it's October 15th, and I know these kind of stripers are eating for this 17-minute window, and he's already missed two of them. And he wants to go, ha, 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 you want to play happy, funny, ha, ha, guy? No. I go, hey, let me demonstrate this to you, okay? And I'll take that joker, and I'll throw it over there, and I'm whining, and it goes tick, and I go, eh, like that, my rod tip loads. Mm, mm, mm. And then I go, give this to his wife, and I go, why don't you land this thing? You're going to be busy for a while. Just don't lose my rod. Here, let's try and get you one now. How, and he's like, he doesn't even want to fish anymore. How big is that one? Big boil in the water. Just going that way, and the drill, the rod's going, hmm, 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 hmm. No. Those two that you messed up back there, and you said, well, it was just a little bite, probably small fish. No. This one that she's got on right now is probably the smallest one of the bunch. Because you missed the two right up there. See where that water's leaking through? The, those are the two I want. If I'm filming, those are the two I make a throw at, and we got some cool fish. But you're looking at this like, Dunk. oh, oh, it's probably a little one. She just didn't have it good enough. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, excuse after excuse after. Stop it. If you want to get good at this game, and if you don't want to get good at this game, then quit doing it. Go and start bowling. Pick up archery. Go do something other than this. But I think all you guys and gals are sitting right here because you want to get better in your game. So let's get better at the game. We've all got $150, $200 invested in our rods, the same amount in the reels. The braided line is off the charts. The baits are off the charts. We got a lot of money. And then our time, what's our time worth? And then we hire this knucklehead Barrick from the Delta to show us how to do it. We got a lot of money invested in this thing because we want to get better at it. So let's get better at it. Everybody wants the hot bait, the hot color, the hot this, the hot rod, the hot reel. What about what you can do? What about what you can control? None of us want to take responsibility for anything. If we miss a fish on a frog, if we miss a fish on a... It's... Oh, the sun was in my eyes. The tide was wrong. They, they're not as aggressive. We had a cold front go through. Yeah, barometer dropped. Barometer rose. And we're on the back side of a front. We're on the front side of a front. The moon phases back. Two days after the full moon, one day before the new moon. I don't give a crap. Let's just get... Can the excuses... 
Let's work on the mechanical end of this game for a change. Instead of pointing the finger, let's turn that finger around and point it where the real problem is about 70% of the time. It's on you.